Hello Marvelous Muses, how we doing guys? So, we are going to work on the diorama. This is probably going to be a couple day project uh, for you guys. It's just going to be a one evening thing. Uh, I painted my little scuba diver here. And I tried to paint his tank silver and the rest of him black because I'm going to dye the water blue. So I didn't, I figured I was going to do blue on his suit, but I was like, you won't see it because I'm going to dye the water blue. So, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up a little bit of resin here. I've got it already stirred up. I've got it, I'm going to mix it up. I've got to stir it right quick. And then I'm going to add my pigment to it. We're going to dye it kind of a turquoise blue uh, in the water. And then uh, probably a little different shade of blue up at the top. So, but we may not do that until we get a little later down the line. Right now, I think I'm just going to do it all kind of a... I don't know, maybe a regular blue. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour a very thin layer in. Not super thin, but uh, maybe I would say a quarter of an inch deep. Because what I want to do is when it starts to thicken, enough that my pieces won't sink when I put them in, I'm going to start putting the pieces in like this. So I've got my boat. Got a little lighthouse here. And what I'm going to do is about a little less than halfway down I'm gonna make the top part above water and then the bottom part is gonna be below water so it's gonna be kind of a 50 50 scene um, I was gonna do all underwater but then I was like well where am I gonna put my boat I thought, well, I could put the boat up closer to the top here and not do as much land but I kind of want to put the little lighthouse in I don't know I think it kind of makes it too um, both of them are 3D so you'll be able to see them from either side and that's kind of what I want to do here is I don't want to put anything in it that you won't be able to see from both sides I have some fish but they're only one-sided so I think and they're bigger than the shark so I don't want to use them so I think I'm going to use these little fish here they're multicolored and so you'll be able to see them from either side they're not different sizes that's the only thing I wish I had some that were a little bit bigger um, but they'll still be cute. They're going to be perfect for in here. Because I don't, like I said, I don't want them to be as big as the shark. My shark here. I did add a little bit of detail to him. Because he was kind of plain. So I added a little bit of like dry brush some black on him. I colored it in his eyes. And like his gills on the side. And then we're going to put some shells in. And some sand down at the bottom. And I might do, I'm going to do some rocks and maybe a little bit of, yeah, probably some rocks across here. Because, of course, we got to have, this is going to be sitting on some form of land. So I got these little stones. Did I didn't bring them over. Maybe I did. Yeah, is this thing? Anyway, I got some, like, little white rocks. I'm going to use them. And uh, that's what our lighthouse is going to be sitting on, like a little, little mound of rocks. And then our diver is going to be hanging down from underneath the boat. And then our shark is going to be coming up and checking him out. So, you leave that to an interpretation if, if our little diver is going to... I thought about trying to build a shark cage for him. <laughs> it's like, I'm going to build a little shark cage. I, I thought about taking a... I've got uh, model cars, and you know the stuff that the model car piece is attached to. I thought about taking pieces of that and UV it together and making it look like a little shark cage and putting him in a shark cage. But I was like, well, then you might not be able to tell what he is inside of there, depending on how my cage turned out. So. I don't know if I'm going to need this. I mixed up three ounces of resin. I don't think I'm going to need this much. I think I'm only going to need probably about two. But I didn't want to mix it and then be like, oh, man, I need a little bit more and then have to mix more. So. All right. So I think we're going to use the turquoise. I really like this turquoise. 
really, really do. And we don't want him super dark yet. We want it dark enough that we know it's turquoise. And if I make too much, I'll use it for something else. Not a problem. Not a problem. so you guys can kind of see what we got going on just right now i'm just pouring the resin in the bottom i've got my little wind frame around it Okay, we need a little deeper in this. Yeah. It's actually right, just about the right amount. Huh. That's funny. Here, I thought I had too much. Actually, this is going to be about perfect per layer. So I'm going to do about three ounces this layer. Like I said, we're going to let it cure just a little bit like I said enough we can sit these in and they're not going to sink he may not go in until the next layer but the boat's for sure going to go in this layer because it's pretty wide and uh, I'll probably put some rocks in and the lighthouse the lighthouse may go in next layer I don't know we'll see uh, but we're going to get started on layering them I'm going to come back out probably in about an hour and a half and check this and see if it's set up enough that I can put my pieces in. It's probably going to be about two hours actually before they get set up enough that I can put the pieces in. Set up enough that I can put them in. All right. So I'm gonna put you guys on pause. We'll be back in a couple hours and we'll put the pieces in. And I will zoom and let you show show you me actually putting everything in and where we're putting it at. We'll be back in a couple hours, guys. Bye. Hello, my marvelous music. So we're back. And we got a train. So I stuck a few fish on to see if this was at the point where I wanted it to be. And I'm, I think it is. But I've decided I'm going to put the lighthouse at this end. Instead of down here. Um, I don't know. I've just... And I also took my little... I have these little white rocks that I got at Dollar Tree. And I actually took just a little bit of brown, brown resin dye, and kind of squirted them and covered them, so I, they're not all just like stark white. So I want to see how far down this is going to come. It's going to be right here. Okay. Rocks up here. I'm just gonna take this off and sprinkle them. It'll be easier. We're gonna put a few on every layer. So this way, by the time it gets up to here it's actually going to be like sitting on a, a layer here okay and we're going to put some down here at the bottom some sand and stuff and i'm going to sprinkle a bit of sand on here as well like i said we're going to do a little bit of this on every layer
Sorry, I probably got my head right in the way, huh? <laughs> probably got my head right in the way. I'm gonna turn my light on here with my flashlight. Flash on. Come on. There we go. going to be our water line right there. I need to slightly brush that back down. All right. So now we're going to set our boat right here. Alright, we'll get the boat in there, guys. Now, I'll kind of look at this a minute here and see what I got. Alright, so I'm gonna turn this around so you guys can see the bottom as I'm working on it. I'm gonna take some sand. you to sit up the boat. There we go. All right. Now, I want to put a couple shells down here at the bottom. These shells here. They're small, but they're going to look big when they're down here. in front of me. Alright. So, where are we going to put our shark at here? We want him over here, huh? And, a little diver here. Okay, now I gotta turn him back around. No, actually, I wanna put my greenery in. I wanna put some of this greenery in. Alright, so I have this. So we're gonna take a little bit of this. And I have like this little piece that hooks two of them together. So what I did was I left just a tiny bit on here. So when I lay it in, that can kind of go down to my resin right there. And then when we pour our next layer of resin, we'll put some fish in front. We'll put another layer of this underneath. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to put him in yet or not. I'll turn it around for a minute. All right. Hmm. I think I'm going to. All right. So this is hard to get him in here. Kind of right where I want him. There 
we go. All right. So let me take you, put you on pause on bring it down and show you what we've got so far. I'm going to mix up three more ounces of resin. I'm going to pour that over the top of this. We'll let that cure a little bit. We'll come back in. We'll put another layer over the top of some more fish and maybe some clouds. And we'll start differentiating the bottom of the water over the top of the water. I've got some starfish we might put down at the bottom. So I'm going to put you on pause. I'll bring you down. All right, guys. Here's what we got so far. So here's the... There's that. Here's our boat out here to see. Here's our shark. And when you turn it on the other side, you may say, well, Marva, you covered up the fish. But because this is going to be completely transparent, when you look through the other side, you're going to see those fish. And they're going to look like they're covering up the shark. I've also got my little diver here. And then down at the bottom. If you can see it, there we are. There's our greenery. Oh, I didn't put a any of the shells yet okay let me turn it around and put a couple more i got one of the shells right here i think i'm gonna put a couple more on there i might put one more and then we'll put some more on the next layer so i'm gonna put you guys back up here i'm gonna put another shell in and then i'm gonna mix up the resin i'll bring you back when we pour our next layer here guys we're back sorry bouncing you around there all right so i'm gonna mix some more color in i think this time i'm gonna go a little more blue just a regular blue Four or five. I'm going to do five drops of regular blue and one drop of turquoise. And I only mixed up two ounces this time because, like I said, we're going in layers because we're going to make this look very 3D. So I did three drops of the turquoise instead of two. Because, like I said, we're going to add some more shells, some more sand, some more fish, some more greenery as we go through the layers of this. And then, if you didn't see, it is a light, has a light-up base. We'll pour the base when we get toward the end. We'll throw the base, pour the base when we get close to the end of it. I've been planning this thing ever since, ever since June sent me the boats. I've been wanting to use them in something. I was going to try to put them in... A bottle but they're too big for the bottle so you can't put them in bottles I have and then I said well I'll put it in a light bulb and then I got thinking no I want more room than that because I want to add all kinds of other stuff to it well then the other day I was at Dollar Tree and I found a little lighthouse and I'm like okay now I got to put this in here and I've got enough beach stuff otherwise that I thought well and then when I saw Juliet pouring your heart out and do the shark I was like well I'm gonna do my little little mini diver and my shark so I've been planning this pour for a while I did not debubble the resin because with it being ocean, I don't care if there's bubbles. I really don't. It's not going to hurt my feelings at all. So we're going to pour this in here. Alright, and then when this layer is a little tacky, I'm going to come in and I'm going to add some more sand. I'm going to add some more sand to here and down at the bottom. What do you think, guys? And we're going to define our water line a little better right underneath here once this layer dries. I think we'll start defining it some. And basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of white... And we're going to, I think I'll use some UV resin and we'll do a little bit of white underneath the boat there in this next layer. And we'll let it cure. I'll cure it. And then I'll pour over the top of that. And then as we go, this is going to get to be more turquoise and that's going to be more blue. Eventually I'm going to start kind of separating it a little more. I'm trying to anyway. So that's what we got so far, guys. I think it's going to be cool. I think they're going to be beautiful all lit up. Everything's going to be so pretty. 
And like I said, we'll do some clouds up in the sky, maybe with that white resin as well. The white, do some white UV resin and make the waves. Make waves or clouds, either one. So, I'm going to put you guys on pause and we'll be back when it comes for the next round. Hey guys, we're back. So. Alright, what we're going to do here. I don't want to put. I don't want to put sand in every layer on the bottom. Because when I put the light underneath, I want the light to be able to go up through. So I don't want the sand to block the light. Diffuse the light a whole lot. So, we're going to start. We're going to put some more rocks underneath here. Put some more rocks on there. So, we have our lighthouse in there. We have our little rocks down. <laughs> now, I think I want to put... I think I want to do a couple more little fish. And I think we're going to do one here in front of the... Turn the light on here. There we go. I'm going to do one right here in front of the greenery. Let's get a couple of the little fishies up and see what color we want to do. And I think we're going to do... I think we're going to do a little orange dye. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Okay, let's see. Do you think we need another one? I think we do. Let's do... Do him right there. Okay, so that looks pretty good there to me, I think. So, I want to do two things. First one I'm going to do is, we're going to see if this still works. It's actually UV resin. I want to see if it's still, if my tip's plugged up, it shouldn't be. Nope, it's still working. Okay, so what I want to do is, I'm going to make a line. Coming from him. Up to the boat. Alright, so we've got a... Basically, he's hooked to a tether, so he's not... He gets eaten, he's taking the boat with him. <laughs> But he's gonna he's gonna make friends, right? They're gonna be friends. Right? Doesn't that sound good? We're gonna kinda cure that a little bit. Alright. Now I wanna take just a tiny bit of white UV resin. Tiny, tiny bit. The littlest bit we can make, practically. Don't need much. Don't need much. Just 
So we're going to take our UV resin. Literally just a drop of UV resin. And all right. Oh, I know this isn't open. This isn't open. Just a little teeny tiny drop here. I'm gonna mix it with the UV resin. I got hair on the end of here. There we go. All right. We're gonna take just a teeny tiny bit of this. some water here splashing up around the rocks. Alright, so now we're going to cure that right quick. And then I'm going to mix up another, I think this time I'm going to do four ounces of resin. Because this round I want to try to cover up the rest of the boat, the rest of the lighthouse, and the rest of the shark. So then the next round, when I add it, I can add some more greenery to the bottom, some more sand, because it'll be then that should be like the last two or three layers. So we're gonna pour layer number three. Oh, hang on, before we do that, I want to make clouds. I'm gonna do a few of the little wispy clouds up in this guy. What do you think guys what do you think so far all right get my my uv resin here give it some little clouds up here There we go. We'll cure those. And then next layer we'll do some more. I think it's going to be so cute.
I don't know how well the back's going to look with whether they're going to be like, but they can't be sticking up too much to the back because, of course, there's a mold there, so. But, uh, yeah, I'm excited for this. All right. So, I'm going to put you guys on a pause. I'm going to mix up some more resin, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. So, I mixed up four ounces of resin. So, we're going to add some more blue and turquoise to it. So, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten because it's four ounces so there's a lot of resin there and this is pretty transparent and we're going to do one blue just so it's not completely blue green two blues there we go all right It's still very light because we're going to do several layers. if it's going to cover the boat and all of the shark but it's going to cover a good portion of it here most of it most of it guys these push out as we go farther up and I might try to put a piece of tape right here on the top to hold it because I want it to kind of like flat right there but I don't think it matters right this minute I think as we fill it, it's going to push automatically. So what do you think, guys? Can you see it? I think it's going to be really cool. I guess we're going to do a little bit more greenery. This next layer. Uh, maybe start putting in a little bit of the sand. I don't know. I think I still have... I have at least two layers after this one, but the top layer is not going to have anything on it. It's just going to be a nice layer of clear over the top. So, yeah, I think what we may do then is this next layer. Yeah, the next layer I'll put some more greenery and some more sand. Yeah. And maybe some more fish. Because these fish here are fish to the back. What do you guys think? Think it's going to be cool? I think it is. I think it's going to look really neat. I will, uh, next layer we'll do the starfish. Because I have some little bitty tiny starfish too that we can put in there. Little bitty starfish. See my little bitty starfish? Oops, here we go, hang on. Oh. There we go. It'll be a starfish there. Super cute. We'll put one of them just down at the bottom and maybe some more shells too. 
like I said, I'm going to leave a gap in between the bottom there. Because you're going to, it's going to be sitting on this base. You're not going to be flipping it up, looking at the bottom of it and going, oh my God, you shouldn't put sand all the way across the bottom. Because like I said, I want the light to be able to go up through. That was my fear. I was like, I was going to do the little mountain that came with the other one. I thought, I'll do the little mountain and I'll put it in there. And then I got thinking, wait a minute. If I do the mountain and I do it in like a dark color, that's going to block the light coming up through. So I thought, well, I'm not going to do the mountain. This one is just going to be strictly water because it has the light. The other one doesn't have a light that goes with it. So um, we could do the mountain with it, and it's meant to go with it anyway. All right, guys. Well, we will be back tomorrow to add some more to this. It's getting late, and I'm going to go to bed. So I will see you guys tomorrow when we come back to add more for layer number four. Layer number four, guys. All right. I'll see you then. Bye. Hello, my marvelous muses. How we doing, guys? We're back. All right, so we're on to the next layer. I'm gonna do a few more clouds. Do some more clouds here. And we might do a few more like little waves here along the water. Maybe some more water splashing up here. Pretty cool there, huh? Okay, now we're going to do another fish. My needle fishy. Let's do this one. See if I've got enough here. I don't think I'm going to put any more. I'm going to do one more layer after this one, I think. Maybe. Okay, I'm back. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Had to get paid for doing those chairs that time. They're finally done, thank God. Alright, yeah, I think I'm going to pour this layer. And then when it kind of cures, I'm going to add the stuff in. I don't want it to be all the way down. So I've got my resin mixed up. i got four more ounces here. This layer we didn't do a whole lot, really. This layer we're going to do a little bit more blue. Let's give it a nice healthy squirt of blue in it. It's gonna be pretty. I think I am gonna tape this top piece just because I'm gonna take my gloves off for this part because I don't want to struggle with the tape sticking to the gloves. side too. Uh, 
There we go. No, this one's not staying. Maybe because the tape was already loose. that'll help it some. I'm going to do this other side over here too. Alright. So we're going to let that cure for a couple hours. I'm going to come back out and then we'll add some more rocks here. Actually, we could do the rocks right now. I'm not too worried about them moving. There we go. That's perfect. Alright guys, we'll be back in a couple hours to add some sand and some greenery and probably pour the last layer and then we'll pour the base at the same time. So, alright, I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Alright guys, we're back. So, now I want to put in some gravel down here at the bottom and some sand. And I'm going to turn it around because I can't see the bottom from where I'm sitting. So, this is not staying up like I wish it would. Alright. It's pretty set, so it's gonna, it's gonna sit on top nice. that all the way up against the corner there though there we go all right now I'm gonna get some sand out here Okay, there we go. And I'm going to put a... Let's see this side up. There's like a little starfish here. Let's see, we're going to put him down here on this end. There we go. And I'm going to take a piece of this greenery. And we're going to cut it down. I'm going to put this one over here. Uh, 
And then I'm going to put some more rocks over here. And maybe a shell. There we go. And I'm going to put some rocks over this just a little. All right. I'm also going to take just a little bit more of this white. I think we're going to just drag a little bit of that across. I'm going to put some more foam here coming up. here and I think we're going to put a little bit of alright pretty good there huh and then I want to put some more rocks in front of the white house here. Right down there. Come back up. my UV lamp right quick and I'm going to cure these couple little spots right here I just did. I think I want to do a couple more things right quick before we pour the top layer on. Okay, I think what I want to do, turn it back around here for a minute. So I think what I want to do, because I have this boat here, I think I want to mix a little bit of the black resin in with the white and kind of make a gray. And then I'm also just going to make, I want to use just a dot of, a little bit of black. So what I'm going to do with the gray is, because the boat, it should be a little bit darker underneath the boat than it is everywhere else. It should be kind of casting a shadow under it. We're going to put a little bit of water coming in from the side of the boat here. But it's not going to be solid white. It's going to be kind of a gray because it's, like I said, this is the kind of under the boat. There we go, like that. Now, I'm also going to take just a spot of black. Let me wipe this off. Just a spot of black here. Just 
taking my black UV resin here. And I think I'm going to try to do a couple little, the little V birds. There we go. Okay. In this round, I'm going to pour the base as well. And I think in the base, because it's a beach scene, I think we're going to, in the base, we're just going to do some sand and some seashells. So, that's my goal there. Alright, I'm going to put you guys on a pause right quick. I'm going to mix up the last bit of my resin. And we're going to get our seashells and stuff ready to go in, and our sand and stuff, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're back. Alright. So I'm going to take the tape off because I'm going to be pouring up high enough it's going to cover it up if I don't. And I don't want to do that. Alright. So I've got one hand gloved and one not so I can work with this stuff and pick up the shells and different things. So I've got one hand here with my resin. I mixed up six ounces of resin. Because I'm going to put some, like I said, in the base here. Move it over to where you can see it too. I'm trying to stay zoomed in so you guys can see the little tiny diorama. And of course, when we demold it tonight, we'll light it all up and everything. Alright, so. I'm going to put just the smallest amount of blue in here. Four, five, six, seven, eight. I put eight in there. And in six ounces of resin, this is very, very translucent dye, so it's not going to... I don't want to dye this last layer much. I want it to be very, very translucent. All right. Okay, I think I may need more resin. And I do. Okay, so this filled this up. So now I gotta mix up some more resin for the base. Okay, a couple of things floated to the top. Which I kinda thought they might. There we go. Get you back down in there, buddy. All right. So that's done. That's poured. That's cured. I'm going to put you guys on a pause. And I'm going to mix up the resin for this. So we'll be right back, guys. Okay, guys. We're back. So I'm going to move this just a little bit forward. And we're going to bring this. And I'm going to zoom out just a little. 
Whoops, not in. There we go. Move all this stuff from underneath it here. All right, so I'm gonna add some turquoise to this. Give it a nice healthy squirt. I mixed up four ounces of resin. It should be enough, probably plenty. But I do have molds I can pour into if I need to. So, all right. I think I'm gonna grab another little cup here. And I'm going to mix up my shells in the cup. So we're going to use some of these. I'm going to open these up. We're going to use some of these as well. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to use some of these. And maybe a few of the white ones. And maybe a couple of these little ones here. Come on, get in there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna add some resin. Get a little cup here of seashells. Get my stick here. We're just coating all the little shells here in resin. And we're going to pour it. And then we got a starfish in there too. Okay, and now I want to add a few of these little white stones that we put underneath the underneath the lighthouse there. And we're going to add a little bit of resin to those. I didn't add very much to it because I don't want it to take up all the room. Probably gonna top this off, honestly. Alright, I think we're done. I'm going to poke this back down. It's floating. My greenery is floating. Oh, so did this one. Come on, get back down there. I wish this mold wasn't so disformed. 
That's all right. We'll do what we need to do. All right. And let me see here. What do we have that we can use here? Let's do the medium sized skull. And I guess we'll do him with some shells on him too. How's that? How is that? We'll do that with some shells in him. Some shells and some rocks. There we go. shells and all kinds of fun stuff in there. Okay. So, I'm just going to set him right here. So he stays nice and level like his buddy. And Pretty full almost. It's like really, really close. Like less than an eighth of an inch from the top. Let's see if I can get a little bit out of here. I put some more rocks in it to raise the level. Yep. That's working. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. We'll be back when it's time to demold. See you then. Hello, guys. We're back. Okay, so we're ready to demold. All right, so we're going to take this out first. It's pretty. Kind of a matte finish. Which is surprising. I guess not really. Let's get the, the light on. There we go. Yeah, it's matte finish. Huh. I guess I didn't think about it being matte finisher. Because the mold's matte. So the outside of this is going to be matte finish too. Huh. Okay. That's alright. So, I guess we'll take off this. Okay, maybe not. We'll just slide it out of it. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about this mold being all crinkly or whatever. But, <coughs> in all fairness, it is going to make it look a lot more like a ocean. <laughs> in fact, the other one... It come from Timu actually has like the top of the mold has like curvy things at the top. Oh my 
gosh, guys, this is pretty. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh. All right, let's take this guy out. Take him out. And we just poured him with the leftover rocks and shells from the base. And this is what he looks like. Of course, they all sunk to the top of his skull. <laughs> kind of looks creepy. Almost looks like his brains. Looks like his brains. Would have probably been cool if it had been just that far up. But now it's all the way down in his nose and his eyes. But he was just something to not use to waste the resin. Alright, so I'm going to put this light in here right quick. And we are going to light this up and see how it looks. Alright. Comes with a USB plug here. So I'm pretty sure that they gave you the option of buying this separate too, if I remember right. Alright. Let's peel this back. Maybe I need to try the trick I learned off of the washi tape. It does peel up, right? Sure it does. It looks like it does. See, I knew it would come off somehow. I was like, <laughs> Alright. And on one end, there's a spot for the wire to come out the end. So we're going to face this down. And we're going to start all the way at this end. Like so. Oh, that is freaking cute, guys. Okay. Okay, I almost don't even care that. Oh my gosh. Okay, I gotta put something back here so you're gonna be able to see this. Alright, I'm gonna put you guys on pause. I'm gonna bring you down and let you see it all lit up. Okay, guys, here it is. Okay, I'm trying to get where you can see it. Let me bring it forward some. So there's our trees down below. And our fish. And our diver. And our boat. shark and the lighthouse oh my gosh guys this is so cool 
kind of wish now I would have taken some yellow UV and made it look like lights coming off the lighthouse. But that's all right. The clouds, look at the clouds. Isn't it pretty? All lit up. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right, we'll be right back. I'm gonna light it. I'm gonna turn the lights back on. Okay, I still have it lit up, so. But I have my lights on too, so you can see. So what do we think, guys? Isn't it cute? Oh my gosh, it turned out so neat. And I love this light up base. That is so fun. So, did take a lot of resin, five layers, but it's very, very, very 3D and it looks really, really great. So, I want to thank everyone who's bought me a coffee, who's um, gave me a super chat or a super thanks, who's bought anything off my Amazon wish list. Also, guys, I now have a 10% discount code off of uh, Let's Resin store as well. It's in the uh, link below. The link is below. There's multiple links in there for my Amazon affiliate link, my Timu affiliate link. So if you buy something from there and you use my link, it does help the channel out a little bit. I really appreciate it, guys. I appreciate anybody who's liked and subscribed, comment, who shared the videos with everybody. I really do appreciate it, guys. We are close to 2,000. I can't even imagine that. I've, it just blows my mind. I remember looking back when I was at 100. Just struggling to get there, thinking I was never going to make it to 100. And now here I am up to almost 2,000. And I am so appreciative of all of y'all. So, I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. I hope your resin cures beautifully. I hope you're happy, healthy, safe, and blessed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow night. Bye.